hello guys welcome back to another vlog and happy 2023 starting off this vlog with an unboxing and one that's super exciting at least for me i got a new nespresso so the one that i ordered in april of 2021 has been acting up so much lately even though i've cleaned it descaled it and i've factor reset it and everything it leaks on the bottom and sometimes it just doesn't work which is super frustrating so i reached out to their customer service and they actually extended my warranty to two years instead of one which i am so grateful about like honestly normally customer service experiences are so shitty but nespresso hooked me up and they sent me a new machine and i was able to upgrade it to one of the better models for free so the one that I have now, right there, is the Virtue Next, but this is the Virtue Deluxe Roundhead. It's actually quite late in the day. It's 2.40 p.m. I did plan on starting this vlog hours ago, but I had a surprise delivery for the new desk that I ordered off of Wayfair. So I was building that for the past two hours, and I've been waiting to open this up. I'm also currently cooking some... Annie's white cheddar mac and cheese. I have the water boiling right now. I bought that last week for an emergency lunch like today when I'm so starving and don't have the energy to make anything. I honestly need to start meal prepping because I know that would benefit my life so much. You wanna go outside? I was also super stressed out. Ooh, look how nice this is because I no longer had my receipt for that machine but I did have it registered on my account, so everything was okay. And I just thought I would have to end up buying another one because I was out of warranties. So I literally love Nespresso. So this is what it looks like, except I got the all black one, as you can see on the bottom here, but the one on the box is silver. All I have to do is send back my old machine in this box that they provided. Oh, water's boiling. Hey Siri. Set a timer for nine minutes. Wow. This one's actually a lot nicer than the one that I already have. Like I said, it's the model up. So it's a little bit better quality. So I'm hoping I won't have any issues with this one. I'm excited to get this set up, but I'm going to wait until my annie's is done because i'm definitely trying to do way too many things at the same time but i think i might have gotten some free capsules which is just gonna make my day 10 times better oh hell yeah top row are espressos middle two are double these are grand longo and then these are regular size coffees they got a Bianca Loguero in there, which is the very last one I'll ever have because they've actually discontinued it. But I haven't tried the double espresso Chiaro before. Got a Melozio in there, which are my dad and brother's favorites. I honestly forget how to set everything up. I think I might have to run a cleaning cycle. Yeah, I have to clean before I first use it. It leaks from the bottom. Wow, she's so much more quiet than my other one. You guys are getting a sneak peek of my desk. Look how cute it is. I'm still waiting on the new chair. It should be here in another week, but I'm actually selling this today. Someone's coming to grab it on Marketplace. So I'm gonna have to use this stool for like the next week until I get the new chair. But it's 
still need to figure out the styling aspect of it. I just put Tinsel's bed there. I'm not sure if I love it. I might put a plant there. Obviously updates to come, but it's adorable. I'm obsessed with it. Like it's rattan here. So cute with the little gold knobs. Hi. <laughs> I actually have another package to open up. It's new workout shoes from Sport Check. I asked for a pair for Christmas. I ended up getting them, but they were too big and they didn't have a smaller size that would fit me. So it was this whole thing. I had to go in store. They had to give me a gift card and I couldn't get a refund because I didn't have my mom's card that she purchased it on. I was kind of annoyed because I couldn't end up getting the exact shoes that I wanted, but it did end up working out because I found a pair of Reebok cross trainers, which is what I was looking for in this beautiful white color. And they were $49. And the gift card that I got back was like 130, which ended up working out for the better, honestly. <laughs> that way I have more money on the gift card. I can put it towards new snowboard gear or something. But I actually ordered two different sizes just in case. So I got a six and a six and a half. I read the reviews for this shoe and it didn't say anything about them running large like the other Reebok Nanos that I ordered so we will see and I'll just return the other pair get more money back on the gift card they're called the Nanoflex trainers 2.0 these are them and apparently they're good cross trainers so anything from like cardio interval sprints to weightlifting which is basically my f45 workout so I'm super excited to see how these perform I have the nike mag cons right now i've had them for like over a year so they're pretty worn out and this is the six i have decided to stick with the six and a half i was just trying them on in my room so i'm going to go exchange the six right now and then while i'm in that plaza i also need to go to kitchen stuff plus and staples for like i don't know what it's called <laughs> it's one of the outlets that has multiple different plugs in it i need it for my desk and my side table and then at kitchen stuff plus i need to get containers for the inside of my desk i actually saw this on tiktok where if you cut out a piece of paper that's the size of the inside of your drawer it's so like the space that you need covered with containers and bring it to the store it makes it so much easier so i did that i'm hoping i can find some i remember seeing containers when I was there a few weeks ago with my mom so let's head out okay back home now this is the outlet that I grabbed it's actually perfect I'm gonna put it there I was gonna get one for my side table but I have a few extension cords in here that I can just take advantage of because it's gonna be for the wiring of my other lamp once I get it but this is the part that I am excited about that paper hack worked perfectly I do have a little bit of space but nothing else would fit back there so I'm gonna make it work Good morning. Good morning. It's the next day. I just got back from F45. I thought I would just continue this vlog today because I don't think I got that much footage yesterday. And the whole reason I want to film this vlog is to do this like new year cleaning and decluttering video. But I didn't have time to do that yesterday. So we're going to do it today. But before that, I have to go to a local coffee shop with my friends because... We need to exchange our secret Santa gifts, which I'm so excited about. I'll just show you guys now because the video is going to go up after anyway. But look how cute my little wrapped gift is. I'm excited, honestly, to see who got me and what they gifted me. 
Not that it like really matters, but I just think Secret Santa is so fun. Steph, she loves macaroons, so I got her like a little pack of them at a bakery. And then a pack of Cove Essential silk hair ties. I'm not sure if she's tried them before, but she has a few Cove clips. I'm obsessed with the hair ties, so I just thought it was a really good gift. And I just taped a little candy cane on it. I think it's so cute. But to keep it anonymous and avoid finding out who brought in each person's gift, we're bringing it in a black garbage bag, which is going to be so funny. But yeah, I need to like shower, do my hair, find an outfit. We're meeting at 12. It's like 10.30 right now, so I still have a little bit of time. And I actually wore my new workout shoes today. They're so nice. I was actually reading some reviews on them yesterday and a lot of people said that they perform really, really well with high intensity cardio workouts, which is what I did today. And I can definitely attest to that. They're so good. And honestly, if you guys live in Canada, you should like jump on these because they're originally like $130 but on sport check. I think I mentioned it yesterday, but they're on sale for $49, which is so cheap. And they're so cute. Like, I just think they're so pretty. So I'll have them linked down below. I just ate my overnight oats. I make them every single Sunday for the week. It saves so much time. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, I need to start meal prepping my lunches because I just find I'm not eating properly or like not getting all the nutrients I need. I just find lunch hard. So I think I'm gonna look into doing that on Sunday and just like make the same thing, five portions of it. All right, here's the outfit. I just threw on like one of these Amazon headbands that I ordered last year. And for my outfit, I'm just wearing this garage cardigan, Lulu Aligns, my dunks, got my Sunday best purse, my new water bottle that I got for Christmas. That is the best thing in the world. It has a straw and it fits into my cup holder. It's my new obsession. And I think for jacket, I'm just gonna wear my coach's puffer because it's raining. Hi besties, I am back home. The gift exchange it was so fun and it was just nice to catch up with my friends because I haven't seen them all together probably in like a month or something. But I thought I would show you guys what I got. So Maya was gifting me and the gift that she got me is so cute. At first I opened it, I'm like, she got me a pair of shoes, that's so random. So first she got me a book. She said she went through my Goodreads TBR and I've actually been meaning to pick this up and I've heard really good things about it. So I'm super excited. I just think that alone was super thoughtful, but like her whole gift was, I just, love when people give me books next she got me these really cute christmas pajamas from joe fresh which is something else that's so thoughtful because i forget how the conversation happened but we were like all browsing through and like sending christmas pajamas and i commented that i really really like these ones and she remembered and got me them and i just think they're so cute they're like blue mistletoe ones so I'm very excited to wear these. And also she got me some Nespresso pods. This like infamous fruit one, two gingerbreads, and one peppermint. I actually haven't tried any of these before. So I'm very excited and I'm definitely going to have the gingerbread one tomorrow. So that was really cute. And then actually while I was at the coffee shop with them, I got an email that my order from Buclair arrived. And then I just stopped in there on my way home to pick it up because I ordered it in store. It's just a throw blanket for my bed. I wanted to buy it in store when I grabbed everything else two weeks ago, but they didn't have it in stock. It's just this really cute cream woven blanket. I know I'm a little late on making my bed but since it was laying you can see the spot right here all day and i didn't want to disturb her here's the blanket Although I'm not really sure if I like it. It's definitely pretty small. Like I have it on the edge of both sides. And this is the longest possible way. I was hoping it was going to be a lot longer. Like hanging over my bed on each side. Like this. I think that would look a lot better. Although I do think the texture looks really good with everything else. I don't know, I just think it looks weird. If you guys think otherwise, let me know. But it's just not really what I was looking for. Maybe it does look fine. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna leave it for a few days and see how I feel about it. 
time to go through my closet. I don't really think I'm going to be getting rid of that many things. It's more of like refolding and organizing again because as a few months go by it does get a little messy in here you guys are probably gonna think i'm crazy because it looks so neat but i just have like a standard that i want it to look like although i probably will get rid of a few things yeah i think i'm just gonna put you guys on a time lapse so i can speed through this while i listen to a podcast I'm not really sure if I'm going to be listing things on my Poshmark. I kind of just want to like donate everything that I have listed because it's just not really selling and I just want it out of my life for the new year. But sometimes if I spend a lot of money on it, I do want to make something back. Let's get to it. I'm listening to the girls' bathroom podcast. I started it in the car. So I'm just going to continue listening to that. It is hours later, 7.28. Finished dinner a little while ago and I'm gonna start crossing some stuff off of my to-do list today. I'm still using my digital planner that I'm utterly obsessed with. And one of the main things that I needed to get done today, as you guys can see, is completing the setup of my bookstagram. I randomly got the idea to start it last night and I am so freaking excited about it like i haven't been this excited about something in terms of social media in a really long time i know it's like not even that big of a deal but i just think it'll be really fun to have a new source of a creative outlet especially related to books like you guys know how freaking passionate i am about them so my account name is pages with taylor i was picking between that or taylor's bookshelf but i think i like pages with taylor better so Go follow me over there. I didn't get the chance to take like a profile photo for it today just because it was really crappy lighting. So I'm going to try to do that tomorrow. I just used like a random one. I had it in my room, but I made my first post about my 2022 reads and then I posted my first review for my first book of the year that I finished last night. I'm just like really excited to see what comes out of it and what i turn it into for the year to come but it's just something new fun and exciting to work on oh yeah for the closet clean out i ended up just donating everything that i picked out because i'm too lazy to post everything and i just need it gone so yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed i definitely want to start getting back in to vlogging because i'm feeling a lot more open about sharing my life again i don't know last year was really hard for me because i just went through this like phase of i don't know what the hell i'm doing with my life but i'm feeling a lot more grounded and better and i'm excited to like share my life this year just like the whole process of like finding a full-time job and all that stuff i don't know i just think i've kind of found a balance between my privacy and social media oh yeah update on the blanket i think i like it i just kind of made it more rough like not so uniform and planned and i think it looks a lot better like this just kind of like effortless you know yeah that's all i'm just about to read book number four in the series a court of frost and starlight this one is like substantially smaller it's only like 229 pages but it's raining out the perfect weather for reading in my personal opinion i'm about to turn on the fireplace on youtube which is the best that's where i'll be <laughs>